In this video, we're going to be doing a couple simple examples about how to find the area of a parallelogram. And the formula that we're always going to use to find the area of a parallelogram is the formula A equals BH, which is going to be base times height. And remember that a parallelogram is just a special type of quadrilateral, meaning it's a four-sided figure, it's a four-sided polygon. And not only is it four-sided, but opposite sides are congruent and opposite sides are parallel. So opposite sides have the same length, so this top side here and this bottom side have the same length. The left side and the right side have the same length. Opposite sides are congruent and opposite sides are parallel. So this side here is going to be parallel to this side. This side is going to be parallel to this side. That's how we define a parallelogram. And when we want to find the area of a parallelogram, we always use this formula. Base of the parallelogram B is going to be pretty straightforward. In this first example, the base is 24. So the length of the bottom side, the length of the base is going to be 24. We've been told already that the base is 24. Knowing that, we could also say that this top side is 24 because remember we know that opposite sides are congruent, they have to have the same length. So the base in this case is going to be 24, but what about the height? That's when we have to be a little bit careful because the height we're interested in is not the slant height. So this slanted side here, its length is 16, which tells us that the opposite length over here, this side, is also 16 since opposite sides are congruent. But we're not interested in the slant height, we're interested in this height here here through the center of the parallelogram. And in this case, that height is 13. So if we want to find the area of this first parallelogram, we're going to say area is equal to base of 24 times a height of 13. When we multiply 24 by 13, we get 312. So the area of this parallelogram is 312 square units. What about this second example here? We have this four-sided figure. It's a parallelogram because opposite sides are congruent and opposite sides are parallel. We can see right away that the bottom edge here, the base, is going to be 2. So we can say area is going to be equal to 2 times whatever the height is. Now let's look at this. We've been told here that the slant height is 13. This slanted side here has a height of or a length of 13. But remember, we're not interested in the slant height. We're interested in the vertical height, which in this case is 11. So we have to multiply 2 by 11, and then we can say that the area is going to be 22 square units. So if you're ever struggling with which height to pick, just look at which height is associated with the slant. That's not the one you want to pick. The one you want to pick is the other height. In this case, it's outside the parallelogram. It's illustrated outside the parallelogram. But it's the height from the top to the bottom. So you can think about it this way as the height from the top of the parallelogram to the bottom of the parallelogram, if we draw a perfectly vertical line, it's this height right here. And sometimes that'll be illustrated outside of the parallelogram, sometimes it'll be illustrated inside depending on how much it slants, but the height we're looking for in this case is 11. We can also be given a parallelogram by its four corners or by its four vertices, and sometimes we need to find the area of this parallelogram defined by its vertices. Well, the easiest way to do that is just to graph each of the four points. You want to do that to make sure that you're getting the right parallelogram. So if we graph the point 2, 3, we're going to come over to 2 and up to 3, and we can graph the first point right here. We want to graph the point 3, negative 1, so we come out to positive 3 and down to negative 1 and graph this point right here. Then we want to go to negative 1, negative 1, so that's going to be right here, and then out to negative 2, positive 3. So negative 2 and then positive 3 is going to be right up here. And if we connect each of those four points like this, we can see that we have a parallelogram here where the base is going to be this length right here and the height is going to be this internal height right here. Again, not the slant height, but this height right here. So if we want to find the base, we can just count the number of units. We have one, two, three, four units to get the width of the base. So the area here, this parallelogram, is going to be base times height. We know that the length of the base is four. We need to multiply by the height, so we count the number of units in the height. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We know that the height is also 4. So we can say then that the area is going to be 16 square units. And those are just a couple examples about how to find the area of a parallelogram.